Okay, so these are my my um sneakers that I bought from Timu. Um, I got some extra room in the toes, okay? But they fit and they do feel really spacey because when I walk my toes they flare out like this. My toes spread out. I gotta put some lotion on my fingers. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to my channel. I might go and let somebody actually do a manicure because I got a lot of white on my cuticles. I might. Okay, just the cuticle, but then they're going to be taking away them layers, you know. So these are my real nails. And so I got something to show y'all why I got the light. This is the nail that I had to do a little bit more nail repair on. So I put some more, um, another layer of tea bag on there. You can kind of see it where it's separate and it's not as smooth as the others. Because it looked like it was starting to crack, y'all. And then, and split down the middle. And so now you can kind of see like a nail tip. Let me see if my nail's dirty. Okay. Now you can kind of see like a nail tip. And this is Sally Hansen um, top coat, Mega Shine top coat, along with Shish Feet Fast Fine top coat. Yeah, so these are the shoes from the Timu haul. And I like they got that thick sole. They mesh, so they're supposed to be breathable. I left out the house a little bit later than I wanted to. But let me show y'all this. So, on this hand right here, you see this finger? The nail polish has come off. Now, what, what, what's up? At first, it went no problem with the light. Now, so right here, you see how the nail polish, the Sally Hansen and the Chez V has chipped, but not on all the rest of the other nail. And I think because I filed this nail after, I polished it when I got home I definitely need to do something about these cuticles look because you can uh, y'all if I need to do something about these cuticles I do but I think I'm going to have professional I'm gonna show y'all the rest of my haul I brought it to work with me in a bag I did file the rest of my nails down a little bit. I just went a couple of swipes because I got a glass or a crystal file. So when I came home and seen my glass um, or crystal file in there, I gave it a couple of swipes across there. You know, just to kind of level it off. And I think that's what made that nail polish start to chip. But the rest of them, they're doing good so far, so good. And so that's why this nail, my ring finger, that's why my ring finger don't look as smooth because I do have that tea bag glued on there. I filed it down as much as possible without harming the natural nail. And um, yeah. So the rocket fuel. To be honest with you, the rocket fuel did not make my nails grow any faster, although I have not been consistent with it. So I'm going to be consistent. The Sally Hansen say put one coat. So I put one coat on here. Okay. And then I put one coat of Shesh V. And I don't think the Shesh V says add more. My nails definitely feel strong with the Sally Hansen. The thing about the rocket fuel. Is yeah, sometimes like when I go and wash my hands, my fingernails will get soft. Y'all, sorry about that. I'm outside at the bus stop. My fingernails will get soft sometimes after the rocket, you know, wearing the rocket fuel. And um, it looks like it might be trying to lift up right there, like it's an air bubble. I hope not. Maybe I'm just tripping. But anyway, they nice and shiny. Okay, they they um 
look a little yellow a little bit to me and i don't know if that came from the rocket fuel because there was a model that was modeling the, the rocket fuel and somebody had asked which i was thinking why are her nails so yellow so i'm wondering is that from using the rocket fuel system because it is a here kind of public transit it's it's blue it has a blue turquoise shade thanks for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe thumbs up my video tell a friend tell a friend tell a friend about my channel i know you for watching to the end